morning guys welcome back to our channel james has just run upstairs to get dressed it's been one of those days where it's like such a chilled morning and then all of a sudden everything all the plans just went down the drain because we had this um we're having <laughs> i need to explain what's going on um but basically i've been doing some work so i'm waiting for this to transfer because this was meant to transfer to someone like an hour ago so that's been stressing me out all morning but we have a sofa cleaner coming over today um, and they messaged me on Instagram. They do loads of people's like, like famous people. So I don't know why they offered to do ours. Um, kind of like famous on Instagram. Uh, what do you call them? Reality TV stars and stuff like that. They do, um, they like go to the houses and clean their sofas. They obviously do every, other people's, but that's how I found them. I found them through that. I went on there. I went to message them. They'd already messaged me saying, would you like a sofa clean? And I was like, um, okay. So I booked this in a while ago now. Cause clearly they're so busy, but they're sofa cleaning and carpet cleaning that whole kind of like, zzz, I'll show you all the techniques and everything they're going to use. Um, is like it was literally blowing my mind and i've been so excited it's been in the calendar for so long um because as you guys know we have a white sofa which is looking it's still white i'm still impressed but there's a lot of marks now like it is one of these ones that i was literally telling you guys wasn't i when we first got it i was like it's bulletproof you can literally wipe off anything and it just works and looks great and it does to be fair this amount of stuff we've spilt on here has been crazy but you can see now there's starting to be i mean the dog hairs alone annoy me, but I can That's get them chocolate off. From me. Chocolate on James's side, chocolate on James's side, chocolate on James's side. Yeah. What have you got to say for yourself? I like chocolate. <laughs> so anyway, they were meant to be coming at 2.30, so we had this really lovely chilled morning. We were like, we'll start the vlog. Anyway, so he just rang me and he was like, we're going to be here early. It's like an hour early. So I was like, James, go get dressed. We'll start the vlog. Because I wanted to explain what was happening so we could show... You know, Come everything. Get dressed, that's so embarrassing. Yeah, who's in his jammies? So yes, we've had a lovely chilled morning. Um, we both, as we said, I think in the last two vlogs now, and our November must vlogs, they're going well, guys. Um, Amber has been teething, so we've been having long nights, and then we've also been doing November mess, so we've been having long nights and long days. Um, so we've both been taking it in turns to nap. So James was having his little nap this morning. I had an actual lion, and then we swapped over and I took Amber, obviously. And we did some weaning and stuff like that, and James had a nap. So it's been a lovely morning. It's been um, chilled, hasn't it? We've just been doing bits of work here and there. Yeah, and everything. yeah, we're doing bits of work and stuff. Um, and like I said, now, it's just all kind of like caught up on me and I'm like, he's coming, he's gonna be in here in like 10 minutes and I wanna just like get the sofa ready to be. So I know, your favorite sofa's gonna be clean. And then you're not gonna be allowed on it. You will, on your blankie, of course. <laughs> I've cleared the sofa as best as I can. Still looks a bit flaccid, but uh, that'll be fine. Hopefully afterwards it'll be a whole, honestly, when they show the before and afters, I'm like, okay, can't wait to see what ours looks like. Um, and <laughs> so when anyone comes into the house, gotta hide the uh, Christmas pillow. So this is what, this is what I love about the Christmas pillow. And no one will know that that is my one Christmas ornament decoration that I've sneaked into the house. I'm just gonna leave the throw there, extra coverage. No one will know. No one will know the Christmas pillow is out. Okay, so. That's that. Still got the mirror in the hall from the last video. Also, is this a cool outfit or cringy? Green on green. You know, like I love the jumper vibes, love the leggings, and then you put them together and it's like, mm, am I just trying a bit too hard here to be one colour? Hello, baby girl! Oh, look, you all tone off. <laughs> Hello! Good morning! Hi! Shake, ah. shake! Shake, signora. Shake your left and right. Hey! <laughs> Can you sing that? Sorry, the camera wasn't even on your face because I was just looking, <laughs> I was just looking um, above the camera. I'm really bad with stuff like that. If I'm vlogging her, I'm like looking at her and then I realise the camera's like, oh, hi. <sighs> hi. Hi. I'm just going to some cardboard to go into the cycling. Yes, it's my cardboard from the, from the Christmas tree, guys. <laughs> from the Christmas tree I ordered. <laughs> So uh, I should I'm help. I'm really excited to get that um, sofa done. I was just I saying that. really good. I'm really excited. Yeah. We've never had like a, obviously I've got my little handheld one. 
But theirs are like actual machines and they full on like, and the stuff that comes out of them, you're like, ooh. This is honestly what's put me off having actual rugs ever since we moved yeah. um, to having one of these, which obviously, you know, it would probably seem weird to have one of these down in your house if you didn't have a baby because they're technically sold as baby mats. But now I have one. I'm like, why do we have rugs? You just mop them down. Look at that. Like literally anything that's on it, mop, mop. Whereas you have a rug. You buy it like a week later. It's got like food in it, dog hair. Yeah. It depends what. But what. it's crazy with me, though, isn't it? We like <sighs> we hoover a, a hard floor and it picks up a bit of hair. And then you hoover like the carpets upstairs and it's like. Shh. Yeah. Because it just carpets just yeah. absorb gunk. So yeah, that's why they have carpet cleaners with their tools, and it just <laughs> makes you feel, but also really satisfying to watch. Also, I got my next month of coffee. So oh! I got me a coffee subscription for my birthday, six months worth. Yeah, his brother. So this one's for my thought is Cumbria, but it's Columbia. Whoa! And it's meant to taste of it's notes of tropical red fruit and chocolate. Oh, oh, I like that then. Yeah, I, I would that. definitely recommend it. The first month of coffee was amazing. Really? I think it was the best I've ever had. Wow. So I'm really excited to see how that tastes. Chocolate sounds good. Hi, sorry. You're not doing very well with your activity basket. It's all still inside. There it is. <laughs> There's your spatula. Your favourite. You gonna be a chef? You gonna be a baker? <laughs> Yummy. <Yeah. laughs> so I just thought I'd show you a first clip of just the massive tube hose thing. How did Toby get out there? I don't know. Oh, you let him out? Because <laughs> obviously the door's open. And they got these massive. I was like, on the side. he was like, I'm going to escape. And then let myself back in. I'm the coming garden. back in. And open the side gate and let myself in. <laughs> Guys, let me back in. I didn't want to escape after all. So yeah, obviously we thought we were being really cool and you know modern. Not putting a door on our kitchen, but it's just really inconvenient. And I've realised, especially when Amber starts walking and stuff, we're just gonna want to have something there 24/7. We're gonna have to have get a baby gate. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that we could get one that looks cute and we could just like slide back and forth or something. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah, see that's a good idea. Good idea um, mm. but yeah, you can hear the noise. Um, I was just speaking to the guy, he's so nice, he's called Reese. Um, and he said he's gonna call me in when he's got like loads of aesthetic bits that we can look at because it's not just me, guys, that loves looking at the soap and cleaning equipment. They suck out all the gunk and it's just, you're just lying so if you say you don't enjoy it. Yeah, it's so satisfying. So yeah, it's currently very noisy, but, oh, they turned it off. Um, yeah, they're just like prepping it all and starting. It's very exciting. And we ordered our Tim Hortons, which is our fave. <laughs> bad to vlog because the um the sound is probably so bad because that you can just hear that massive sucker hello you can't even hear your piano can you but this is just cracking me up i would love to do a renovation and just have this on james's side of the bed <laughs> right next to his pillow <laughs> that would be tickling my nose oh. That would just be my worst nightmare. I know. My absolute worst nightmare. <laughs> I know. That's why I'd laugh so hard. So, me and Amber have escaped to Amber's nursery to avoid all the noise. My teething, my teething, very needy baby. I'm not sure if it's the um, noises or like, I don't know, the people around. She's not usually like that, but I think then on top of the fact that when they're teething, they just feel like, it's like us when we're in pain. Like the last thing we need is like emotional challenges of seeing a massive machine going and then mum running towards the machine. And every time I leave the room, she starts crying, which is not like never happened before. Okay, Jack and I'm still here. So we're just reading uh, If I Were a Dragon, aren't we? We're upstairs escaping. We're reading If I Were a Dragon and then you're gonna go down for a nap. 
Or you're chewing if I were a dragon. <laughs> I hate seeing her in pain, it breaks my heart. But the guys from Carpet Beard have gone. This girl's just woken up. Oh, she's still not smiley. She's still so sad. Um, James is looking up some exciting equipment, guys. I'm gonna talk us through tomorrow. Tomorrow. So tomorrow. Tomorrow, we won't see. We won't see what it is, yeah? Oh, you took the mirror back upstairs. I miss it already. It's such a handy thing to be able to be like, and vlog, and vlog. There's about 50 million mirrors in this house. Would you like to show everyone the new carpet? Oh, thank you, Mila. Now you can walk all over it. Now I've shown it on the vlog. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Why is that so satisfying? Oh. I've even turned on all the lights because it's starting to get a little bit dark and gloomy. Um, but I just wanted to show you this before it got messed up by us just using the rug. Um, but they were so generous. Um, Reese, who owns the company, he was honestly the loveliest person ever. They both were, the guys that came. Um, the sofa looks amazing. So we're just leaving it to dry a little bit because obviously they use like water machinery stuff on it. So it's a little bit damp. So we're just leaving it to dry. It looks bright white. I can't actually cope. Like this is in quite dimmed lighting and it looks that light. Um, so I'm so excited to put the sofa back together and I will update you guys and give you like a full before and after tomorrow because I feel like that's just going to be so satisfying. But I just had to show you the rug because that is just... Goals. Goals, baby girl. So, me and this Amber Wamba. Amber Wamba Bamba. No? Are you gonna give us a smile? Are you gonna give us a smile? Yay! Um, we are going to head off in her last awake time um, to the supermarket. So this evening I'm going to my friend who you guys have probably seen on various vlogs, um, Nyla. Um, she does kind of all our shoot days but in this style. She's just like, she's a freaking one man band. I think I was showing last time on the vlog that she's so talented. And then she's like amazing at art. And then she, her cooking is just unreal. Anyway, I go on about her cause I just, she fascinates me every time. Like she's just so multi-talented. Um, she's having a Halloween party at her house tonight. So that to me screams anxiety. Cause I'm a bit like, Honestly, before having Amber, I would have just been like, absolutely not. Like my friends all know that I just, I'm not the best with things like that. So I tend to avoid them, especially seeing as this, obviously her, she's got all her group of friends who I'm not like friends with. I haven't met them really. Um, and so that's even more anxiety inducing, let alone even just a group of my own friends is, is scary enough. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. Um, that's why I have a very small selection of friends. Cause then I, d I actually, yeah obviously don't get anxious in front of them because they are my best friends. But um, yeah, I'm just a very anxious person. And so I know a lot of you can relate, uh, like large gatherings and anything is just all very scary. But since having Amber, I've honestly gotten so much better. I've been pushing myself outside my comfort zone so much more, whether it be ordering coffees or doing whatever. Um, I know I've spoken about it on loads of different vlogs, different type of things that I've been like, I wouldn't be doing this. I, I don't usually even drive myself places on my own and now I kind of don't let that stop me either. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going tonight to the Halloween party. It's her, so it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna have like insane decor and just insane everything. Um, but I need to pop to the supermarket because we are bringing our own pumpkins because we're doing pumpkin carving. Um, it sounds like just my type of party, guys. It's just gonna be chilling out. We're all wearing all black. So it's gonna be like, kind of like all look like, I don't know, aesthetic. Um, it's just gonna be really fun. And I, and I think it's the baby classes and stuff that I've been doing, like the baby yoga that I did and the baby sensory that I did. And I've been meeting mums and meeting more people. And I think sometimes it just takes enough good experiences of something to make you look forward to them. So like previously, I just wouldn't look forward to social events because I'd be like, what if I don't know what to say? What if I get awkward? What if this, what if that? But I think once you do it enough and like the baby classes and stuff, I felt like really pushed me into it because for once in my life, I wasn't really thinking about me. I was like, well, I don't really care if I get awkward because I'm here for Amber. So even if I just sit in the corner of the baby sensory class and she has a good time, that's kind of all I can really care about. So that sort of encouraged me to actually go forward and do those things. And then I had such a good time at them and had such good experiences that it's now sort of changed my mindset on 
social events, if you get me. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm now actually surprisingly really looking forward to going um, and meeting all these new people tonight and just having a good time. It's going to be really good, I think. Um, it's our flush room. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're going to um, a supermarket now to get pumpkins. Have fun. Am I coming? <laughs> pumpkins are involved, hen. I'm going to be having fun. Um, yeah, would you like to come or are you still busy being? Ooh, pumpkin sounds fun, but <laughs> I'll stay. James is busy being on a very exciting project that we will talk to you guys more about tomorrow. Nick, it's you looking up at Mila, lying on the floor while I put my shoes on. Um, guys, I got this outfit. Remember when I bought it from Mums and Papas and I said, I know we're going shopping now. And I said that she wore it when she was a newborn. Look. Can you cope? And now look at you. I can't cope. Okay, let's go pumpkin shopping. So, popping into the supermarket. Got it in a little fluffy thing. Got the little clip, guys, with the uh, teether on. Honestly, probably one of the best things I ever did was get one of those attachment things. They're actually to attach dummies to things, but I use it to attach a teether, and it's just the best thing ever because they just throw things about, don't they? So I'm gonna try and put her in one of those baby trolley things today. We used one before and it was really good, but it's pouring with rain, so I'm just like rushing into the bit and uh, shelter. Whew, made it. You okay? You all good? Let's get in one of those baby trolleys. <laughs> Look at you, my big girl. She's too fascinating, there's too much to see. Is there too much to see? I love these, they're so good. And then you just push them around. Should we go pumpkin picking in the supermarket? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so we just got home, I forgot to vlog in the shop and it was the first time I walked through the door and I was like, oh, this just feels so cozy and exactly the vibe that I was trying to, I'm still gonna put the sofa together. Exact vibe that I was just trying to get from this house. You know, like when you wanna, when you first move into a house and obviously it's felt like a home for ages, but like those winter nights where you come through the door and it's just like candle lit, my fake electric candles, because you can leave them on when you go out so you can come back into that candle lit vibe because they're electric and they're not gonna burn your house down. Um, so in the supermarket, these are the little bits that I picked up. Amber's just over there with James. James is still working through some work emails. I Bit of a stressful work day today for you, babes. I know, I had like a nice nap. And, and like, then... It's been a bit full on. <laughs> You've been thrown in at the deep end there for the rest of the day. Um, I got a white pumpkin, even though um, we're doing pumpkin carving. And I was thinking, can you even carve a white pumpkin? Because there's like a million different styles and types of pumpkins. And I know there's cooking pumpkins and all different types. And they have like the ones that are good for carving. Anyway. Um, I was talking to someone that worked there. She said that she watched our videos, which was lovely. And I was like talking about the white pumpkin and then she started Googling it and we were just having a great little natter. But it said when she Googled it, um, that white pumpkins are actually better for carving. I learn something new every day. So we got a white pumpkin for carving. We got some skeleton fingers. No, they didn't run out. I just fancied, I just fancied being different, you know? Why not? Um, and then I got some bits and bobs and then I also picked up this. How cute is this? So I'm gonna turn up to the door on the Halloween party like, hi guys. <laughs> Gosh, I'm such a little, a little nerdy mum now. And I'm gonna put some little sweets in it as well for the trick or treaters. And then I'm gonna bring it home and use it on actual Halloween night because this is a couple of days before. Um, so when the kids come to the door, I can go trick or treat and give them a little sweet bags in there. Exciting guys, seasonal fun. Good morning guys, it is now the next day. Hi. I feel like I've worn this t-shirt already in this vlog. You have? No, I, it- Was it in the last vlog? Yeah, it was. I feel like I've worn it, washed it, worn it again <laughs> in like a three day period. That's what I mean guys, very repetitive <laughs> outfits there from James. It's a comfy t-shirt. And it's very festive coloured. And I love how you just don't even iron anymore. You just rock the crinkled vibe. To be fair, I put, I put this on this morning because... Look, it's it has the same stain. Yeah, I know. I think it's like an it's oil, oil stain, stain or something. I really should try to get that out a bit better. So not only is he wearing the same top, he's wearing the same stained top. I am. But in my defence, okay, you had a little nap this morning after feeding Amber in the night. And I wanted to go to Morrison's to do a shop with her. Yeah. So I had stuff in the dryer. So I just pulled out things from the dryer so I didn't have to come back in the room and disturb you. Oh. That's why I'm wearing the same He's playing the, the super dad, dad card. Good husband card. All right, we'll let you off. 
fur. Yeah. And um, so I went to my friend's party last night. It was so fun. It was so so good. I'll tell you about it later. And I was very bored in the house watching <laughs> TV. So um, I won't show you any footage of that. <laughs> But firstly, this How video exciting. is sponsored by Casetify. We work yes. long term with Casetify because we absolutely love their products. We do. Um, and I recently, as you guys saw a couple of vlogs ago, got um, the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. I absolutely love he it. He loves it. I he know. loves I it. Love it. <laughs> so obviously with a new phone, I had to get a new case. I th um, was it in this video? We were in one of the videos, we were waiting for your case. I can't remember what we were saying. But yeah, he had his new phone without a case on, I and I was, was like, scary. get that case to buy case on home. I was sitting in Five Guys with my phone on the table, like, terrified, and you just think it's going to slip out your pocket all the time, because it's so will. slippy. They do. They, go, they just, well, for us anyway, they're constantly falling on the floor. <laughs> Honestly, I'm the clumsiest person ever. So this is my current, this is my new case to buy case. Um, I really like kind of the edge. The, it's sparkly. Speckled. It's so funny how that flashes on the camera. I it's know. It's sparkly. And then I went for a personalised frame, so... Because I forget who I am. Oh, you copied me. You know, yeah, it's literally. It's I've got that on mine as very well. Very similar to yours. Um, but yeah, to be fair, since I've used case by cases, I used to constantly end up in Apple, kind of getting my phone screen repaired. Because, like I said, I'm the clumsiest person in the world. But since I've used case by cases, have I need to do that? So this is an impact case. You can also get ultra impact cases, and this has been drop tested up to six point six foot feet. And the ultra impact up to 9.8. So I feel yeah. like unless you're over 6.6 foot, yeah. I'm struggling. So I used to have the ultra impact and it, to be fair, it was amazing. Because like I said, I yeah. do literally drop my phone 24-7. But um, now I have the impact. Are they just yeah. the impact? Um, and I feel like I drop it just as, as much. Oh, and it's yeah. still, so it depends how high you're going to be I dropping that I think it depends how tall you are or whether yeah. you work like on a scaffolding. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to do a quick drop test. As you can oh, see, yes. case is in perfect condition. Phone's in perfect condition. All good. Lovely. <laughs> Honestly, I feel so confident doing this. Oh yeah, right. we do it to our friends all the time. There we go. Literally, on Perfect. any type of flooring. Nick. Love it. So, love cases by cases. They're also up to 65% um, made from recycled and plant-based materials. They are. So yes, you can use our code. Um, Casefy.com forward slash James and Karis to get 15% off and thank you Casefy for sponsoring us long thank term. Thank you Casefy! So your night last night Karis? What yes, was, so. What was the vibe? Oh look, my little spooky, my little spooky sweet holder over there. It's blocking my son, I speak. My I know, I blocked on purpose babes because if you take it away. Yeah, it's gonna go, ugh. I don't know how that's happened. Cringes me out. It's one being next to a hob in the old house. Yeah, it's not actually anything we've put on there, it's just like gathered oil probably. Yes. Ooh. I have tried to clean it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had a really, really nice night. Yeah, it was just really, really lovely. Everyone there was so nice. Um, and I just feel like, yeah, it, those kind of, kind of moments that, you know, I don't know, I spoke about this before, but used to make me so anxious and stuff. Mm. Once you get there and once you experience them and once you kind of let go a bit, they really energize me and, and bring me so much motivation for the week ahead even if it's just talking to people about the most silly sort of funny conversations and things like that yeah. i feel like especially with lockdown the past year and stuff you can get so in mm -hmm. your own head you can get so oh, like focused yeah. on what you see online and everything like that and it's so refreshing to just talk and laugh with normal people and so over the past year i feel like i value that so much i value making time for my friends making time for our family and having that really nice quality time where you just sit and you just chat and you just laugh and it just grounds me for the week and I just I think literally the past that's probably been the biggest change in my whole life over the past six months to a year has been the value of mm -hmm. friendship and it sounds stupid because I've always had those friends and I've always valued them but now I value them to the max because I know how much I can struggle and how sort of life can get away from me when I don't make time for that and when you know you just keep up with someone over text it's not the same as seeing them in person and, and making that. So I feel very grateful at the moment that I'm able to have so much time with people that I love. I think that's what we were saying, wasn't it? Like, I feel like no matter what job you're in, no matter what work you do, you often, mm. if you're not seeing your friends or your family, you're making time for kind of others. You yeah. can become so absorbed in your work that yeah. work is everything. Yeah. And then, you know, whatever's happening in your work life feels like your entire life, which exactly. obviously work is a big part of everyone's life. But it is. I think you have to kind of try to make that time and see. And I think lockdown was so tough, wasn't it? Yeah. Because you literally felt like if you weren't succeeding in work during lockdown, you, didn't. you weren't succeeding exactly. because you didn't have any other life yeah, apart exactly. from work or like 
full-time parent or whatever kind of your job is yeah. you just feel so unsuccessful that's 100% and so, it yeah rubbish just rubbish you would just work for the day and then watch tv and then work and watch yeah TV and it, so it I gets a bit repetitive didn't it yeah 100 percent. that's literally summed it up really so i'm so it's kind of happy that i'm trying to push myself to do more mm -hmm. things like that alongside obviously making time more time for my like close yeah. friends and stuff luckily we've only got a hands full of friends so we can just yeah. about make time for them because honestly there is not enough hours in the day to work hard see your friends sorry you seem to tidy the, the house what <laughs> friends. give us more Where hours in the, the day we need 28 hours i have calculated not 24. <laughs> no honestly though it's such a good theme that i'm seeing at the moment yeah. on social media like everyone just saying there's not enough time to do everything like when four out of the five things going well the other thing is just absolutely going bonkers just no you've got washing the house yeah. is a mess then your house is tidy and everything else is going well and you haven't seen your friends in two weeks you can't do it all so we've got to be kind to ourselves as we well do. we just gotta let the house be a mess absolutely basically that's the thing that stop judging people that's the thing that slips everyone's house just become an absolute bomb site i know and it's all good no because that's also then bad for your mental oh, health oh definitely you've got to swap them around that's you all you do you've got to keep mixing it up it's about the pie yeah. chart we were talking about the other day. Anyway, so we, on that note, we have just had a little bit of a tidy of the house as well. We have. I'm going to have a quick I hoover have. now. I was going to have... Are you... I, I was going to... But... I enjoy the hoover. Half I enjoy the hoover, okay. I do. My new <laughs> hoover. <laughs> the new shark. Ooh. I like it. It's powerful. Um, we've got... So we've got a couple of things we need to do today as well. We've got... <laughs> not that we need to do today. <laughs> so, you always sound so, like, like focused. Like, so we need to see our friends. Couple like of things on the to-do list. To do. See friends. See Ellen Connor. See <laughs> so Ellen Connor are coming round um, later. Well, they should be coming round in a little bit actually, um, which will be lovely. So that's on my to-do list. Also, the I do know. Boy? Yeah, with Saint. Oh, I'm so excited to see him again. When I saw, how old was he when we saw him? I can't six, remember about now. Six weeks? He was really young, and Amber seemed really young then as well. Like she wasn't sitting up or anything. No, I know. Um, it's going to be amazing to see the difference in both. I know. I can't wait for them to see each other again. Um, and also, I do know that she's called Ellie. I just do call her Elle because obviously being online is hilarious. You get such funny comments. <laughs> but I do whenever I say. They call themselves friends, and yet they don't know her name is Ellie. It's like I think she would have corrected us if she was like being called yeah. Elle. James is referencing to a comment that I got last time. Um, I said Ellen Connor, and they were like, "How can she say she's friends with her when she doesn't even know her name's Ellie, not Elle?" I was like, "Should we just start calling her by Elle?" Is names? a short name. Ellen or Jane Darby's coming over. Yeah. <laughs> With Connor Swift. You just can't get <laughs> these things online. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're coming later, which is going to be so nice. And then we also have a really exciting renovation <gasps> starting. Should we do it? Should we chat about it? Chat. Should we do it? All right, guys. So Not too I long. Can... <laughs> this vlog, hey? So, so when it's my turn to speak, <laughs> I don't have long. Oh my God. When it's your turn to speak, we could go on for hours. I can't hours. believe I just said that. So, <laughs> about it for a while about whether we're gonna do a garden gym room yeah and i'm so excited to say it's actually starting in a few days time it's happening crazy and then do you want to pop up the photo we're basing it on yeah or do you want to leave yeah there? okay oh or do we want to leave it for no let's just pop it up so pop it up because it's not going to be exactly like this we're going to change the cladding and change bits but this is kind of like roughly what it's going to look yeah. like and it's going to go here where the shed is but it's going to be quite a bit bigger and quite a bit taller. So it's going to probably go all the way across to there. Things like the, the way... middle of that green plant is going to go to. Yeah, the... all the way back. And yeah. it's going to be much higher as well, which is why it had to go in for planning. Um, because oh, yeah, it's got... It had to go in for planning, guys. It did, because mm -hmm. it's got quite a lot of height to it. Because obviously it's going to be a gym. Um, we wanted to be able to lift. Oosh. Obviously for me, I could go for the one that, the height that didn't need planning. And I could have lifted my arms all the way up. Even though I personally did, we did go to someone's to see the height. Um, and I would have personally felt claustrophobic yeah. only because we're used to working out in a space where, you know, you've got very high ceilings. So we thought we would yeah. go for planning. We'll take the extra time. We'll take the risk of them not approving it um, and hope that they will. And they did. Yeah. So obviously as well for James, obviously I'm a lot smaller. Do people honestly, right, let me try and get a good ratio here of how tall we actually we are. Saw, we saw three people in London and two of them were like, wow, James, you're much bigger in person than you look online. Yeah. And I, I was like, in a, in a good way, like, where, where am I bigger, you know? Bigger is such a varied word. But anyway, I, I do think 
People say like how it's looked shorter in person and I look taller. I think it's because I'm always potentially like in the, the vlog front. like this and so we look the same height. Yeah. Whereas I'm five foot four so I'm quite small and James is, I don't know, five foot eleven or something. I'm five foot eleven. So. I'm not one tall. of those people that's going to say I'm six foot. I'm definitely five foot eleven. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost six foot. I'm like six foot one. I'm like just under six foot. <laughs> <laughs> no, 5 foot 11. Yeah, it's um, because we vlog like this and I yes, look kind of similar height to you. Exactly. Yeah. So it baffles people when they meet us, but anyway. no. Yeah, so. So yeah, I think just not, not needing planning, you can have 3 by 5 metres and up to 2.5 metres, is it? Or 3 yeah. metres in height? Something like two and a half, I think. And then, so we're going for 3.5 by 5, so not much bigger, but then, yeah, taller. And it'll be taller at the front, sloping down, nice big windows. And yesterday I was doing loads... You trying to turn me on? <laughs> hey! <laughs> da, da, da. That was trying to turn you off. Hey, awesome. I just wanted to turn my fairy lights on. Um, and then, yeah, I was looking at gym equipment all day yesterday. No. So exciting to get some orders in. And then we're just going to patio. So we're going to flatten it all and patio everything in front of it. And this is then going to be a nice kind of loungy sitting area. I'm really be excited awesome. because I feel like, although the shed is quite cute and I did my little DIY transformation I for think, it, yeah. um, it is actually such a big part of the kitchen. Yeah. So we had this like whole kitchen done, like we made it our kind of own space. And then this massive picture window really just looked out onto the shed that was here. Yeah. Um, and as much as I love my little DIY transformation here of the shed, I am very excited for it to be uh, the lovely new summer yeah. house, garden room. Also, if we just, we're staying here and not getting the garden. We'd have to get a new shed because that is completely... Oh, it's completely broken it's at the back. damp. It's yeah. broken. It's rubbish. Yes. And then if you're wondering where we're going to store some stuff, we don't actually store much stuff in there at all. Anything that does need to be stored out there, we are going to get like a mini uh, sort of shed yeah. thing by we the side of the house. We have concrete over there, which is so cool. So we can just plop a much smaller shed over there. Yeah. Where that those place. bins and that little and thing is. And then you can paint that one blue. Uh, maybe I will. You picked yeah. the colour for that one though. I did. It's nice and bright, isn't it's cute, it? Yeah. It makes me feel like I'm, you know, in Brighton or something, you know, by the yeah. side. Yeah. So yeah, the new one's not gonna be painted. It's gonna be like a cool modern yeah. wooden vibe. Yeah. Check us out. So I wanna know if any of you guys have any home gyms, what's mm. your go-to gym equipment? Mm -hmm. So we're thinking squat rack, dumbbells, yeah. cable machine, and, and the then bike, the Peloton. Which we've got, yeah. Which I'm hoping I've done some measuring and I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit. Yeah. Because it sounds like a lot. That sounds it? like a lot, yeah. yeah. I just need the squat rack and dumbbells. Yeah. I think I'm just going to get the squat rack and I see how much space we have left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and obviously the gym flooring as well. We yeah. were trying to do all the maths to like yeah. get the proper spongy gym flooring. Anyway, we're so excited for that to start. That is literally starting in a few Honestly, days. So we've got to also clear out the shed. That was the whole point of that story. Yes. We've got to clear out the shed and get it ready to be demolished. Yes, so there's some things in there we need to, we need to sort out. But it's raining and we can't be bothered. We'll do it later or tomorrow. Yeah. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Is that smile coming back? That's nice! So, Amber has awoken. James is making bacon sarnies. Oh, oh you changed your top! I did, because you were clearly having an issue with my greasy stain. <laughs> What a shocker of me to have an issue with a greasy stain on the top. I'll get the bleach out and get it sorted. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a hoover now. We have discovered that Amber is a bit scared of the hoover, which isn't really like her. Like, she's not really scared of much. She's never been scared of the hoover before. You've never been scared of the hoover before? Why are you scared of the sharky? I think it's because the dog is scared of it. Mm -hmm. Toby, yeah, that probably didn't help. Hello, you're reaching up. Yeah, you want the fluffy thing, don't you? The other thing I wanted to show you guys was my pumpkin. So this is the pumpkin that I carved yesterday. I put some little fairy lights in it. I thought I'd make a little house. How sweet is that? Do you like that, Amber? It's cool, isn't it? Are you reaching for it? That's lovely. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she's getting quite strong now, so she can actually knock things over. So yeah, I love doing that little pumpkin. Although, I would say, you know, I try to go neutral vibes and go for a white pumpkin, but it actually turns out like a bit yellow and it's not actually like a true white, so I'm not sure whether I just 
would prefer to have gone for an orange pumpkin. Although, obviously, in this very neutral area of the house, it does go quite well. And the sofa, as well, is still drying. So we're still yet to put it back together. But it looks crazily white compared to what it was when they came yesterday. Um, but I'm going to give it, like, another half an hour, maybe, because it's basically dry. It was, yeah, basically dry. Uh, so I'm going to put it back together in a bit. But I'm kind of feeling this, like, footstool vibe here. Very unpractical, um, but it looks cute. I don't know how well the camera's picking this up today. I don't think it's picking it up well at all because it does adjust the lighting. But there is such a gloomy vibe going on today, the weather. I'm just turning, turning the lights off. Oh, now we've got the gloomy vibes. And I'm really just feeling very wintry. I've got the candle lit, the pumpkin harvest to be fair, even though we need to now get more of a wintry, Christmassy candle going. I'm still living in the pumpkin life. Um, yeah, just feeling very, I'm appreciating the dark gloomy weather today. And I'm yeah, I'm liking it because I'm just like, I feel like we're lit by candlelight sort of thing. But really it's just my fairy lights and then we can just turn on the lights. Um, <laughs> so, is it time for weaning? Is it time for weaning while we wait for Saint? Yes, it is. More, more, more. What a lovely outfit you've got on. And what a lovely trick or treat bag. You gonna show everyone what's in your trick or treat bag? Go on. You've been showing me. You can get them out. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, these are the best little toys. She's been playing with these for ages. Because they're just crinkly, obviously, no. you need to be watching them. <laughs> wow, that one went far. <laughs> so I've put the sofa back together. Wow, honestly, it's literally completely changed colour. It's really hard to tell because when you get used to something, it obviously wasn't like, it wasn't, it hadn't gone, we'd only had it for like a year, so it hadn't gone like grey or anything with dirt. Um, but you can kind of see little bits here and there's quite a funny bit, I'm sure he won't mind me showing, um, where he's like forgot to do one little bit, which is lucky because the footstool goes there. Um, but you can see there the colouring, that was like not even bad compared to what the top were like. Um, it was so, when I look back on the photos now, so orange and so kind of beige. And now it's just gone back to how it was when it was new. Completely like bright white. So, oh, look at that. Fresh. Look who's here. Yeah, me has got a scratch on her nose. Look who's here. Francis is rolling. Hi. Hi. You are such a... so jealous when she wakes up and you're on the phone with her. I know. She'll be like, what? <laughs> what has been going Play on? Play with my toy. <laughs> it's Connor <Yeah>. and Mila. <laughs> oh, you're so close. Oh my gosh, look how cute, close he is. Oh my God. He's reaching for the so toys. Fun. Every time I... Think... <laughs> Mila, go away. <laughs> no, Mila. Every time I feel like he's actually going to do it, like, oh my God, this is going to be... Like, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Saints on the go in Amber's jump room. Amber's still asleep, so that's she's cool. missing out. for her. Missing out on all the fun. <laughs> but she's that's fine. In she is. Yeah. She's like, see she's like, I'll about. just wait for the last 10 minutes and then wave you guys and <laughs> say goodbye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at these two. Hello. <laughs> Hello. They look the same. They look literally the same yeah. size. That's mad. Wow. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> You are Shuck! Shucksy and your bestie! You look gorgeous in your pumpkin outfit, <laughs> sweetheart! <laughs> Same! We put your pumpkin outfit at home, okay? Oh, he wants one, <laughs> I should have brought it, we could have got yeah. such a cute picture of them. Do you want to give Saint your pumpkin? Oh, that's sad. Give him your pumpkin. She's got so much hair! I know! It's grown loads over the last literal... Little blondie! ...week or so. Blondie girl. It's just sprouted. <laughs> Say, stop being rude. Talk to Amber. Oh, bless him. He's still so much younger. Is it a baby photo shoot? Do we like songs? Hello. Baby photo hello, shoot. hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you touch your hand? Can you touch your toes? Can you do? Hello. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Whoa. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Amber, stop that! Oh no, oh. say! <laughs> Here come the screams! Passive, Here come the screams from Amber! So Ella and Connor have just left. It was so <laughs> lovely seeing them and seeing Let's little Saint again. In. And Amber was very happy seeing Saint. Were you, Amber? You. She loves meeting other babies. She's very good. She yeah, she's is. a baby kind of baby, I think. You're very social. Oh, you, you like know. to pat their heads. You do, don't you? We need to make sure there's a uh, fingernail stay cut, though. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, so I'm just going to have a quick tidy for the kitchen. We don't have loads of plants for the rest of the day. I kind of want to wanted to start sorting the shed out, but I feel like that might be safe for a weekend job. Definitely. Yeah. Like I just, I'm just in the mood to like. It. Tidy the house now, yeah. bunker down. Like I say, when it gets to 3 pm now, what even is the time? Because I'm in um, bunker mode. 20 to 5. See? Quarter to 5. How am I still standing? I should be in my PJs in front of the TV. <gasps> Only when you've gone to bed. <laughs> we are actually having um, a couple of other friends over tonight. Um, Ooh, so I we forgot. are hosting again. I know. We are. So I'm cooking tonight and we're having some people over. Oh, that'll be fun. But yes, oh. let's just have a quick tidy of the kitchen. Yes. Before. <gasps> After. Oh, oh, the lighting got there. <laughs> After. Wow, what an amazing clean transformation, James. You rock. You're awesome. I still, After. I still need to try to take the bins out. <laughs> Amber's there like. Carries is the bins. Oh my god. Amber's still there uh, playing her piano. Set. Guys, it is much later on. Mila is absolutely. Exhausted. Are you exhausted? Have you fallen asleep by all my candle lit show? Well, our friends came over tonight, didn't they? With um, their what? How old is she now? The um, um, so she TV. was. They no, she was born. This uh, yeah. like a couple of days before Amber. Before Amber, I think. Or did they get her a couple of days? No, five days. No, before she was Amber. born. Yeah, she was born five days before so Amber. About what seven months now? Because she's always basically the same age as Amber. So yeah, she's seven months. Um, and Mila and her are like actual besties. Like I've never yeah. seen two dogs get along so well no. as her and Mila. It's crazy. Like they. they are mad are joint at the hip every time they see each other and they do not stop playing the whole night yep. and I always think I always say or we always say because we like to believe this even though it's definitely not the what? case like mums like dogs um, no that I always wonder like why did Mila take to her like straight away and was like literally the first day she met Evie she was like you're my bestie and Evie can do no wrong like Evie could eat all her toys do everything and Mila would be like that's okay, love you. And then like, they're just, ugh, it's just crazy. And I was like, why is Mila's this happening? Mila's not a dog dog. No, yeah, she's she not. like other dogs usually. She's not like, no. no, she's not. She's more like humans, loves humans. Um, but with this dog, she's obsessed. And I just love to believe that it's because Mila sees our best friends that come over like every week. She's a massive part of their life. They, Mila loves them. And when they got a dog, Mila was like, well, that's their offspring. So I guess I get to just got to love them I because I love their parents. I think it's breed favoritism, and she just uh, likes other female labs. Labradors. Seeing as she's a female lab. That would and work. And she's going to be, Evie is going to be a very similar size yeah. female lab to her, because she's very small for They're a lab. They're very similar. And I think she's going to be quite small as well. James, don't ruin it. Okay? But no, she's besties with our besties. Are best. Yes, Thank yes, you. Yes. She's bestie with our besties. Um, we had a lush night. It was yeah. honestly so, so lovely. Guys. I don't... Guys. This is so embarrassing. We've eaten... Between the four of us, when I say that, we ate the majority of these before they actually Me and James ate these. Also, she did my We've nails. Eaten all of the yeah. all, all of the Halloween candy. That's just embarrassing, isn't it? So we are going to need to buy Although, let me just show you what James went and bought. This is even more embarrassing. I didn't realise, guys. So, I d did you buy it because I'd eaten half the dragon eggs? So you yeah. thought, I better stock I up. I thought, I better get a bit more. Um, and I didn't read how many were actually in I, You I don't need to read. I grabbed the first thing I saw... And I got this. Oh, guys, apparently this has 60 mini bags in. It's so heavy. It's like... But would you believe that's got 60 bags in? Mate, I would think, honestly, if you told me to guess, I'd say 250 bags. All right, that's just ridiculous, Paris. Isn't it's it? so I heavy. No one believes that. Uh, mm hmm Honestly, I don't know. I picked it up. I was like, what on earth have you bought? Have you bought it for the next five Halloweens? <laughs> I don't know how many people you think are trick-or-treating, but there's going to be like... 
maybe three people come to the door. Yeah, if probably. that. Thank you guys for watching. We had a really lovely night with our friends and we had a really great time vlogging the past know, two days. We loved this. This is kind of the end of our vlog week and you know, we've got tomorrow not vlogging. Wow. I know. We've been vlogging and then every we're back day. At it next week. But I feel like, yeah, I've loved vlogging kind of this week and doing. Yeah, it's been nice. I was, I was just about to say doing the three shorter vlogs. They're not short. But they were all still somehow almost really an hour. Really long. Even though we did three rather than mm. we usually do one and it's only an hour. I so know. What's happened though? I'm not sure. Well, look at us. We're still talking in an outro. Yeah. It's five minutes and we're talking yeah. so slow yeah. about why we talk so much. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next video and it'll be very soon because we're doing our November miss. Hope you have a good one. See you soon. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.